Hi guys, welcome back to week four of Build Your Stash Collaboration. Sorry if my lighting's a little off. The weather's weird outside. Um, I just barely did my week three video. And so if you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It is a week late and a day. I'm still sick. But we're going to get through this really quick. Um... These are crepe paper rosettes that I put glitter on and then I used the shaker stickers that you can buy at Dollar Tree. And um, I'll run through really quick how I make my crepe paper rosettes. There's lots of videos on, the, on those. I'll try and link. If I don't link the videos, I'll at least put the people's YouTube channels below so I can give credit where credit's due. And also about a week ago, Craft Purge on YouTube. She... Did almost the exact same thing and I already had this in mind and she just got her video out before mine so I wasn't necessarily copying her but great minds think alike I guess I don't know but so I'll link hers down below also um, I didn't I tried to do the folding of the crepe paper and I couldn't make them look good so I looked up a couple videos and I believe one of them's nurse Tina nurse something I'll, I'll link it below um, she sewed hers and I didn't know you could sew crepe paper because I thought it was too flimsy but I gave it a try and so what I did is I actually folded a piece of crepe paper in half and then I sewed down it and just bunched it up like you would do when you're making like a ribbon flower and that worked really easy <clears throat> since I already know how to make the ribbon flowers so what I did is after I got it sewed, I just took my sticker and I took the end and I started off on the side, not on the, the top, so it wasn't so noticeable. And since it's sticky, I just kind of went around it to start with and got it where I wanted it. That way I could adjust it. And it's really humid. It's been raining. And my crepe, pa crepe paper actually feels almost wet because of all the humidity in the air. <clears throat> so, and then all I did was I went and I got around to right here where I started. And then I'll show you guys what I do when I come to an end. You can do this, like I said, with lace or ribbon. This is how I make a lot of my flowers. Hold it, and then cut it, and then if you keep it pinched pretty tight, you can see where the thread is, and you can grab it and um, slide all your stuff back, and tie yourself another knot, and then um, you're ready to go to for the next one, so you can just sit there and sew like a big old long... Um, length and make it for multiple ones and then this yeah this will unravel if you're not careful so you got to just kind of hold it and I like to take my end and put this one in front and then hide the beginning and the back and then you know you can look at it see where it's a little wonky and pull it out because you didn't glue anything down yet it's all just stuck with the back of the sticker so you can adjust it and make it look However you'd like, bunch up another area, pull an area out, whatever, till you get it looking the way that you would like. So that's one good thing. And then I just took <clears throat> a piece of paper, since you know, like I say in every video, I don't have any punches or anything, so made myself a circle pretty quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. Flipped it over, and then I just stick hot glue right along here, and a little bit in the middle, not too much, I don't want it to melt through the thing, and then glue that on, flip it back over, kind of smash it down, and then once you do that, obviously your um, crepe paper stuck how you have it, and then usually it looks a little bit better, but... The humidity's kind of messing with it. 
And then I just took, where'd it go? Right here. And some glitter. If I can get this off without making a big mess. That. And this is purple, so I'll go ahead and mix some purple in with it. Oh, those are big chunky ones. <clears throat> and a lot of it's coming off, like when I shake it and stuff. See, like, it just falls off. I don't, I don't know if it's actually supposed to do that or not, but... Might be the glue I'm using. There we go. I'm just using my tacky glue. Mm, just... Lightly go all the way around it. Since I'm sick, I'm going to spend the day, hopefully, watching everyone's videos and getting caught up. <clears throat> I got a, a little, like, mini craft fair this weekend, and I don't have anything made for it. Good thing I'm not doing it by myself. My mother and my... My mother-in-law and sister-in-law are doing it with me, so it's okay that I don't have a ton of stuff. I don't know how much glue you're supposed to use, but I'll get it all the way around. That's a nice roughly spot. You can make it all really poofy like that if you wanted right there, but okay, we made it all the way around. <clears throat> And then we'll just, whoop, without making a huge mess, we're just going to take it and start dipping it in. Make sure I get the purple. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Make sure I get some of it all the way around. Go back through. That's kind of pretty. Look at that, guys. I'm so sorry if my lighting's not good. I hope you guys can see that. Super pretty. That's really pretty in person. So, okay. And then, I just, actually the packages that, I got glitter on me. These um, came in is what I'm going to reuse. So I just cut a piece of paper that's 5 inches by 6 inches. I'm going to put this on there so we don't have a mess on our hands. Get myself some foam dots. Put on the back of them. And put the glue on it like I did before. And then put it on there like that. This one's got to dry, so I'm just going to set it right here. Put it on there like that. And then I just will slide it in the package. Put a little bag topper on it, just with another Dollar Tree sticker. And call it good. I'm going to make five sets of these, because I have three packages of six stickers. So i got quite a few. <clears throat> i got the sprinkles ones. I've got the B ones. I couldn't find any of the ones with the unicorns. And then I got the girl empowerment ones, which is all the ones that I've been using. So, there we go. That is week four of Build My Stash collaboration. Like I said, I will link Craft Purge and Nurse Tina down below with their, at least their YouTube channels. If I don't have their, can't find their videos on making this almost exact same embellishment and how to sew the crepe paper rosette. Um, thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and um, I hope you guys check out week three video, and I'll see you next week with week five. Thanks, guys. Bye.